How are you doing here? Well, I tried to catch that terminal window. It wasn't blue, but it was black, but it just popped up there for a minute. This is easy to boot Windows 7 uh, Home Premium 32-bit. I thought, well, heck, why don't I try that before I get out of here? And they went straight in there and didn't give any errors, didn't give the red warning about, you know, telling me I need the helper boot, boot stick and all that stuff. So it did this for quite a while, and then, okay, there it is. But what's crazy is the first time I tried the 30, you know, this same one, it just did this uh, to start with. So I still think something went wonky. Maybe when I tried to run that update app, it might have jacked things up. Uh, made that uh, stick, that uh, SD card show up as a fixed disk somehow or something. I could have wrote a file that I didn't, you know, and all those files that I never wouldn't know where to look uh, but sometimes when you try to run an app even though it errors out you know it might write some files a good app will delete any files that it tried to write when there's an error but a lot of them don't do that so this would run but this is the 32-bit and I want the 64-bit I still don't know for sure if my license will work with 64-bit but I'm gonna try it if I can if I have any much more trouble, I will just burn it to a DVD. I hate to waste a DVD, but heck, I could have done that this morning and found out right away. And, I, you know, you can always use it later, probably. Well, of course, you have to have a... I hate to waste them if I don't have a machine that can actually work with that. I hate to do it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go put this in the uh, other machine and uh, make the files contiguous, and, and we'll see. If I'm not going to try it again today, though. All right, bye.